On this problem, you're asked to solve for z. So in order to solve for z, you always want to get the z by itself, or the, the, the term that has a z in it, which is this term. So I need to get rid of that negative 12y because we want to get the 4xyz by itself on that, that side of the equation. So we add 12y. So that's going to give us 3x plus 12y is equal to 4xyz. So now we still are trying to get the z by itself, so we need to divide by those things that it, z is being multiplied. And so you divide by 4xy. And that's going to cancel out all those terms. And so you're left with z on the right side is equal to 3x plus 12y all over 4xy. And that is the correct answer to this problem. For the next one, what we want to do um, is something very similar, except for this time we are solving for p. And so to start, we need to get this p out from the... the parentheses. So to do this, we're going to do the distributive property. All right? We multiply the 2r times p, the 2r times the l. Now I need to get the p by itself, so I need to subtract the 2rl from both sides, or actually add the 2rl to both sides. And so that's going to give you s plus 2rl equals 2rp. And I want to solve for p, so I need to divide both sides by the 2r. So I divide both sides by the 2r, and I get p is equal to s plus 2rl all over 2r. And that is uh, p, p in terms of s, r, and l.